This video is going to be a follow-up to the video I made before the last one just to address some comments and clear up some things. Let's jump right into this. As far as what Black Indigo did, I didn't say I agreed with it. Actually, I don't agree or disagree. She's a grown woman. She did something legal that had nothing to do with anybody else but her. Second of all, I never said that I would do that. Just because I don't disagree with somebody doing certain things or I even endorse them. But I'm not saying I endorse this, but anyway. Just because I support somebody in doing something doesn't mean I would do it myself. For example, I support women who want to have abortions, but I don't think I could ever have one. Well, actually, I take that back. If the child was horribly deformed or if having it was going to kill me, I'd do it. But in any other situation, even a rape, I'd have the kid. Why would I not do it other than those two situations I mentioned? Because I know I would think about that child constantly. Sometimes I can barely even sleep because my mind is racing so much that would be just one more thing to keep me from getting sleep. Now, if some random woman I didn't know wanted to have an abortion, I wouldn't have anything to say to her. But if it was a family member or somebody I cared about that was going to have one, I wouldn't really try to discourage them from it, but I would ask them if they're sure they know what they're getting into. And that's kind of the same thing I said with the porn situation. I'm not saying do it or don't do it, I'm just saying make sure it's worth it. Sometimes morality or right or wrong doesn't even need to be part of the equation. And again, I said sometimes. If you just ask yourself, what are the consequences and the benefits of this action, and you weigh them against each other, then you can make a lot more sound decision than asking what would Jesus do. And by the way, I wouldn't want my daughters or anybody else in my family doing porn, but I can discourage them away from that without using Jesus. If you do that, first of all, you're going to be walking around with me. But secondly, people are going to think you're a whore or low class. Nobody's going to take you seriously. And one day when you try to run for president, it'll come up. And just in case some of you still don't get it, well, if you don't want your daughter to do it, and if you wouldn't do it yourself, then you must see something wrong with it. Uh, no, if two or three or sixteen consenting adults want to get on camera and get paid to have sex, it's not my biz. But doing that kind of behavior myself is not for me. For me, the pros don't outweigh the cons. Moving along, something else I wanted to clear up. People keep saying she touched a white dude's dick. I watched it. I thought she had too, but I watched it again, and actually she only touched the black guy's dick. She just got really close to the white dick. And she clapped for it. Does clapping count? I don't know. Next thing, somebody came back with the what about the kids thing yet again. They said little girls who looked up to her might see her on her channel talking about how she did porn and think it's okay. All right, let's examine that. Okay, let's just say that an 11, 12, or 13-year-old girl saw the video where Black Indigo was talking about how she did porn, and now they think it's okay. Okay, first and foremost, where are their parents? Actually, I think if your daughter does watch Black Indigo, this would be the perfect time to bring up certain topics with her. You could warn her about putting people on pedestals. You can talk about how everybody makes mistakes or has lapses in judgment. You can talk about, hey, before you do something, make sure it's worth it. All those things. But anyway, if we move past the parenting thing, you're still not making sense. A 13-year-old girl sees that Indigo did a porno and now she thinks it's okay. Okay, so she's going to run out and be in a porno right now? I'm sure there are 13-year-olds in pornos, but that's illegal. And overwhelmingly, most of the time when children are in porn, it's not by their choice. There's some adult taking advantage of them. So the chances of your 13-year-old daughter running out to do a porno, slim to none. And if she does, I got more questions for you than Black Indigo. Now, if your currently 13-year-old daughter crosses over the age of 18 and then decides to do a porno, she is making her own decision as an adult. It ain't got nothing to do with black indigo. She probably won't even be thinking about no damn black indigo that she saw back when she was 13 years old. People misuse and overuse this argument that if kids see adults doing certain things, they're going to do it to her, think it's okay. Now, in some cases, no doubt. But still, even in those cases, you can tell a child, this is adult shit. This is not for you. For example, I'm sure some of you as a child maybe walked in on your parents getting freaky. And perhaps they explained to you after they got their clothes on and got over the embarrassment that this is something mommies and daddies do when they're in love. And perhaps they added that you don't need to do this until you're married. Or perhaps a child sees an adult drinking alcohol. That adult can tell the child, this is not for you. So anyway, don't overuse the kids argument. Your kids are your responsibility, and you can tell your kids you're not old enough to do this. You can also tell your kids that if you do this, people are going to think you're a whore, or that you're uh, low class, or whatever. Hell, you can even tell them if they do a certain thing, they're going to make Jesus cry. Whatever. Kids are going to see inappropriate things sometimes. 
That's when you come in as a parent and set them straight. Alright, I'm going to reiterate a point in my last video. All you porn watchers out there really need to shut up. Just like if you buy a blood diamond, you're supporting the mistreatment of Africans. If you watch porn, you're supporting what's going on in it. What does it matter who's in it, whether it's some chick you don't know or some people you don't know or black indigo? Whoever you're watching, that's somebody's baby. That's somebody's daughter, sister, possibly mother. If the business didn't make money, people wouldn't make pornos. So you watching it makes people make more. A lot of guys who were objecting to what Indigo did, they got quiet when I asked them if they watched porn. Or someone would say, yeah, but that ain't the same thing. No, no buts. No buts. If you're watching it voluntarily, you agree with it. And definitely if you're wanking to it, can I get a witness? All right, next point. I've run across yet another guy who wants my attention. His name is Daywalker. I don't know if he posts on YouTube, but he definitely does over on Gen X. He said he was going to go in on me, but he didn't even go in. He just talked about himself. He seems to have taken offense to the question I asked under my video, how do you know what you would and wouldn't do if you fell on hard times? And I have no idea why he's so offended by the question. He's almost acting like I made the video about him, or that I was asking him personally. It's kind of like when a pastor is up in the pulpit preaching about something or other and there's somebody in the audience who feels like the pastor is looking at them or talking directly to them because they did something. That's kind of how Daywalker was acting. Daywalker, listen to me. I don't know anything, I swear. It was a hypothetical question. Whatever you did, I don't know. Entonces tranquilo morenito, yo no sé nada. By the way, who is that in the picture you're always putting in your videos? Is that you? Is that your chick? Ah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, find the tape, destroy it, and then nobody will ever know. Don't take me wrong now. I don't know what was on the tape. I don't even know that there was a tape. I'm just saying that in case it applies. But again, I don't know anything. So don't yell at me. And then you said something in your video like, Oh, if I fell on hard time, well, I wouldn't touch a guy's dick. Well, I hope not, if you call yourself straight. You're a guy. And can you really be so sure that even as a guy that you would never touch another guy's dick? What if there were a gun to your head? Sure, you can be all macho now while there's no gun to your head and say, I would die first. I wouldn't touch no dick. I think you touched the dick. All I'm saying is don't be so sure. A lot of people who are eating out of garbage cans or turning tricks for money, they didn't start off there. Most people don't say, oh, I want to do porn when I grow up. Please do not bring up Montana Fishburn. I said most people. Then you said something to effect of like you take precautions or you save up money so that you don't get desperate. All right, if billion dollar corporations can go bankrupt, so can little old you. All your best laid plans can go right down the toilet with a little stroke of bad luck. Second of all, you saying that doesn't answer the question. If you got backups and reserves in case something goes wrong, then you haven't fallen on hard times yet. The question was, how do you know what you would do if you fell on hard times? Not do you take precautions against hard times. Anyway, moral of the story, don't be so sure. All right, I think that just about covers everything. I'm going to get back to work now.